Why hello, it's your gal Dimply Beam back at it again with some more content. And today I'm going to be showing you how I create this simply beautiful Delft skull makeup. I've been seeing a lot of Delft inspired makeup looks recently and I just had to give it a go myself. I'm also going to be showing you how I made this golden flower headpiece too. It's super easy to do and will mean that you will never want to buy another floral crown headband again. So firstly we're going to start off with the Elf Soothing Face Primer. I have pink undertone skin if you haven't noticed already. And I find that this primer helps disguise all those problem areas. Skipping straight to the face paints, I'm taking my Meron Paradise palette and using the white colour, if white is even a colour. I'm going to apply this to my face, neck and shoulders using a art flat brush. Generally speaking, you'll want to use two or three layers of this paint before finishing up using a makeup sponge to reduce those streaky marks. I have to confess, I still always end up with minor streaks. If anyone has any tips, please share it in the comments below. I'm always looking at ways to improve my craft and there ain't no shame in learning and improving. Improving. Next I'll be taking my Meron Colorset Translucent Setting Powder and using a chunky poof. I'm going to set all of my hard work. Then I'm going to take my Colourpop She's a Rainbow palette and using the colour Fine China, I'm going to pat this onto my lid. Using the same palette, I'm going in with the Tide Pool colour and swiping this in my inner corners just to add a little shimmer and dimension. Whacking on some false lashes too because I can't resist a good lash. And then we're going to move on to those fine details. I'm using L'Oreal's Matte Signature Eyeliner in blue and delicately drawing out my Delft pattern. My biggest advice in this step is to use reference images. I just looked up Delft patterns on Google and adapted them to fit a skull shape. Not forgetting the teeth, turning this pattern into a authentic skull look. I'm then using my NYX suede matte lipstick and applying to the other side of my lips. I felt like the look was missing something so I went in with my cream faced paint palette and I've taken this golden colour I applied some gold accents just to mix it up a little bit from all the blue that we have going on. Finally using my Anastasia Beverly Hills sugar glow kit I'm going to gently highlight my cheekbones. Now onto the flower headpiece. I'm using a glue gun, two headbands and some gold flowers which I will link in the description below. First step is to glue the headbands together. Generally speaking if you were making a smaller headpiece then you'll only need one. However I wanted mine to be chonky so I glued two together. Next is time to glue on the flowers. I wanted mine to be mismatched so I didn't really put them on in a specific order. If you're less of a rule breaker than me then you can always map out where your flowers are going to go beforehand. And that's it, the final look. As always, if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit that like button. If you would like to see more content like this, then hit that subscribe button. Comment if you have something to say. And in the meantime, I hope you all have a lovely week and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye.